Howdy, y'all. I turn off the box. Okay. I am going to be stripping this down and cleaning it. Well, not really cleaning it, but I'll be stripping it down and putting better grease in it. I have started vacuuming with it. It's a great vacuum. But I just got this new grease, and I want to try it out. Hello, Jay. This was my latest, one of my latest Goodwill finds. Was this Dirt Devil. I absolutely love it. I've always loved these. But, it's a little loud. And, when I say a little, as in my ears actually try to bleed. So right now, I and I've already almost snapped a belt. Hello, Rick. I've almost snapped a belt on this. So, I mean, it's, I've been brutal on it in the last two hours that I've used it. It's just getting louder and louder the longer I use it. So, my guess is it needs clean. If I'm screwed over, I'm looking for Ha! Wee! It's just getting louder and louder. God, no, I hate Dirt Devil. But I like this Dirt Devil. This is one of the only dirt doubles I like, but no, it's getting louder and louder. And I've already, I was actually vacuuming and sucked up a dog toy. And started puffing out smoke, started burning the belt. You know, your usual. Then again, though, it's already a stretched belt. It's not an original belt, which I have to buy. What's different about that than other models? It actually works. <laughs> uh, yeah, this actually works, so that is one of the main differences. And I see a screw that looks to have been already rusted shut. Don't know how. Yes, so where the little screw? There we go. I like the ones with the cy Cyclops headlight better. Ooh, yes, I got this rusted screw out before it became a problem. I'm actually happy. It needs a much better belt, though. I just, I don't have a belt for it. I had a brush roll for it, that was about it. And parts for this thing are pretty expensive. They've gone up. Not by much, but they've gone up. It hates this belt. Let's actually see if I can find where I started burning it. Let's see. We can find where it started to burn. Oof. Half the belt's already, like, destroyed, so... I honestly cannot tell where it started burning. It's already like shaved half the belt. Let's check. Brush roll, yeah, that's still, that still spins nice. Let's check this out. When was it good condition when you purchased it? Like the rusted nail? Rusted screw. And no, I got this for eight bucks at Goodwill, dude. Ain't nothing good condition when it's from Goodwill for eight bucks. I mean, look, I got a Eureka from there, too. I got a Eureka from there, also, for nine dollars. Oh, wow. This thing was horrible. I mean, this thing had glass in the motor. No belt, glass in the motor, filter clogged, had no suction, barely worked. I mean, I was just proud I was able to do my house with it today. Right now I gotta find, there it is. I'm not gonna take the time to take the handle and all that crap off. I'm gonna just unscrew one screw and take all of it off. Honestly though, this is one of the only few good dirt doubles, in my opinion, that were bagless Chinese vacuums. 
How does something work with glass in the motor? Yeah, I asked myself the same thing. Seriously. Uh, I asked myself the same thing. Frankly, I didn't figure out an answer either. Ugh. Got that. Ew. That ain't normal. Disinfectant wipes. There they are. I feel the need to bathe in this now. That was just gross. This had to have been used for construction work or DIY. Because it's full of drywall. It's full. The handle's full of drywall. Is it broken now or does the hose detach? It detaches. This whole thing detaches. This lock, this actually detaches and the, the main suction hose detaches to here. Here. This locks into the vacuum and the suction goes through it or whatever. This comes off the nozzle and locks into here. And now you can vacuum with the hose. But when you normally vacuum the floor, it's just like this hooked to the floor. Honestly though, Jay, wait, what's the name of the shop vac like vacuum with the face on it? Henry. Pneumatic Henry. God, I shouldn't know that. Like, yeah, I shouldn't know that though. Honestly though, Jay, you probably should have kept your old vacuum. I liked your old vacuum a lot. Your old vacuum, I still think was better. screw out. The power drill put stuff in way too tight. I forget it. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big comment. Ow. That was me sliding. Making it, yes, I saw a vine with a Henry with no hose on it and white powder substance. Yeah, yeah. And then it sucked it all up and passed out on the floor. Yes, I know. Trust me, we've all seen that video. I've also seen the vine of a guy running away from a, a car. I shouldn't say Vine, but that was a video also. Yeah. Oof. Um, watch that pop. That pop. Flip it over. Ow. Climb it back and lift up. My old one didn't come off that easily. I remember having to fight my old one. And now we just, you kind of have to, you have to feel like you're breaking it to honestly get it off. So you got this stupid clip, my bobber. I don't want to have to take this whole thing apart, but I'm going to. But nah, I'm just currently going to oil the bearings and stuff. Because it's still loud. And I didn't put real oil in it. What year is it? I don't know. I guess it's 2003. It's a, uh... Ow. Burnt myself. A model number. Made in China. Household type. Model 085845 Plant J. My guess is it was 05. China? Yeah. Where everything's made. 
Uh, my guess is it starts with an L and ends with a 5. Or it starts with a 0 and ends with a 5. So my guess would be 05. Yeah, 2005. Wow, I was two years old when this came out. No. I would have been coming out, or I would have been three. I would have been three or four. I was one. That's cool though, I'm older than this vacuum. Oof. Alright, I've never used this stuff, so... Shake well before using. Instructions. Not in English. I was six. Yo, this has been there for so long, it's got dust on it. That's how long it's been in true value. This stuff's supposed to be very, very good. True value, yeah, it's uh, like, it's like Ace Hardware or Home Depot, it sells only parts for servicing and motors and whatnot. Now, you ready for this? This stuff's not flammable. Warning. Oh, never mind. It's combustible. It says warning. Combustible. Same vacuum. <laughs> uh, this vacuum's great, though. But it's obnoxiously loud. Oh god, dude, this stuff kicks in quick. So does mine. Dude, this thing makes my ears bleed. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, it's loud, but it ain't that loud. Jesus. It's loud, but, I mean, it's annoying loud, but it's not so loud the next door neighbor can hear. I wouldn't go that far with mine. Mine's not that bad. I just got this new Triflow Superior Lubricant. It just says warning combustible. I know there's gotta be more than one bearing in this thing. I just gotta find it. Can someone tell me where the second bearing is? It's gotta be 
this? Is it the nut? Like the bolt on the uh, that bolts the fan in? Is that one of the? Is that a bearing? Came from new. Came new from Walmart. Lucky dude. I always wanted one of these new. I never got one new though. My mom was too happy with her bristles. Now this motor's got no rust on it, but it's full of white powder. So unless Hen Henry was hanging out with this thing, it may have something shouldn't in it. I'm a Bissell fan. Dude, screw Bissell. Honestly though, this thing's got good, fil like I wouldn't say filtration, but it's got good like cleaning power. It works pretty good. I did about half my house. Alright, I regret the saying screw Bissell. It depends what Bissell you use. Because I have an original Power Force. I have an original Power Force Turbo. And that thing's the bomb. Like, that's the bomb diggity. But I'm more of a... I don't like Bissell's. I like the uh, original Power Force Turbo and the original Power Force. If it don't got a headlight, you're like CA31. God, no. I hate CA31. Kill me now. Yeah. He's blocked on this channel for a reason. No, I'm not like CA31. My parents let me buy used vacuums, unlike him, whose parents only let him get new vacuums, which is why he only has sharks and Dysons and Hoovers. No, C31's parents won't let him get a used vacuum. He's only allowed to get new vacuums. And is not allowed to be set on this channel. I will now have to remove this video. I take hating that kid to another passion. He overreacts. He's a jerk. He lashes out. He's just an awful person. Not to mention beyond spoiled. The kid's got, what, an iPhone X? He at least has a 7 or 8. He's got anything that kid's ever asked for. That kid pisses me off. I hate him. Hates Bissell, too. Uh, I'm okay with him saying my real name. But, uh, he... The issue was, was I went into a stream. And he was saying my real name in a live stream. So when I went live, I said his real name when he joined. And he started talking to me like, oh, remember, I have your phone number. Don't forget, I know where you live. He was threatening me. He was, he was blackmailing me. And I wasn't putting up with it, so I blocked him. And then he went to my videos and started commenting, Oh, really? Want to time me out? It's on. Yeah, I know him. I know where he lives. I had his phone number. That kid messaged me on my channel after I timed him out. Yeah, he messaged me saying, Uh, oh, it's on now. I hate him. He is spoiled. He's rude. And he overreacts. Oh, damn. Honestly, though, I don't care. 
That's gonna make me sound like a bad person. I already knew I was going to hell, and I don't care. If you want to message me, send me a message request on YouTube. Uh, we can talk more about that. I can tell you some more things he's done. Lol. Yeah, I don't care. Do you see this face? It don't care. I don't care if that kid were to fly to where I live to apologize. I won't care. If I ever met him in person, I would knock him straight out. Honestly, it's about time someone bullied him. It's going to sound really bad, but it's honestly about time someone put him in his place and made him feel like crap. Because he does the same thing to everyone else. You know, he had a, uh, his aunt had a phantom. And he was going to give me his fa the phantom. The phantom barely ran. Always smelled like it was burning. Full of concrete and crap. You ready for this? Full of dirt and everything. Had water run through it. it barely worked. We all knew it would maybe have lasted a year if used. He wanted me to pay him 50 bucks for it. He wanted me to give him 50 bucks for a phantom that barely worked. Then he tried to make me feel like garbage because I refused. I told him I'd give him maybe 20. And that was if I was being nice. And honestly, no. If CA31 hated Bissell, he wouldn't have gone out and bought an Abyssal Power Force Turbo in green. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you hate a certain brand, why would you go out and spend 70, 100 bucks on, on the newest model? You wouldn't. Exactly. New York City vacuum kid? I don't think so. Yo, explain me this. He claims he hates Bissell so much. Uh, why does he have a Bissell Symphony? Why does he have a Bissell Power Force Turbo? Why did he go out and buy a brand new Turbo? Why did he get a Symphony, break the Symphony, then got a new Symphony sent out to him, then broke and then smash the old symphony. He's a Bissell fanboy. We know it. And I honestly don't even care if he's in, if he's in here. He's a Bissell fanboy and he knows it. New York City subway kid? Yeah, I know him. I know him. But seriously, explain me this. Dude, explain me this. He hates Bissell so much. His last carpet cleaner was a Bissell Pro Heat 2X, uh, whatever, the big upright. Then he got a Bissell Pro Heat 2X Pet Revolution. Then a Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo Rewind. Then a Bissell Symphony. Really? For someone who hates Bissell, he seems to be blowing a lot of money on brand new models. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, if, last time I checked, if you hate them, you're not gonna even buy an old model. I hate new Bissels. I don't hate all Bissels. He claims he hates all Bissels. He's lying to you, straight to your face. Turbo Rewind. You know what? Honestly, I'm glad it broke. I always had bad luck with Bissells. I've had a few Bissells here and there that weren't that bad. Not all my Bissells have had bad luck. Just 90% of them.
I had a, uh, my school had a healthy home. My school had a Bissell Healthy Home. They had it for like six years. And then the handle started sparking. The brush roll stopped spinning. The main clips on the dust cup broke. So if you'd pick it up and shatter. And then they bought a shark. I put grease on a little bit of everywhere on this thing. So it should move pretty good. Honestly though, message me because I want to know what was said to this kid that made him want to end his life. I may laugh though. My school's that Bissell Power Force Bagless SC853 or S5. I don't even know what that was. But uh, I assume that's one of the originals. That name would make give me the feeling that's one of the older Bissells. One of the headlighted models. If I'm not mistaken. Then again, though, I could be mistaken. Wouldn't be the first time. I need a belt for this thing so bad. Yes. Want me to message you all? Give... I'll give you my phone number. Nah, you don't gotta. I had a pet hair eraser hand back. It was brand new and died on the first use. <laughs> Dude, I had one of those and it lasted like six years. I couldn't get the thing to die. With mine, the motor went off balance. Thing sounded awful. It was terribly loud. It didn't die though. I ended up getting sick of it and just tossed it. So many orange belts. For love of God. Hit blue dust in your face during a live stream. Been there, done that, buddy. Bissels are amazing. They're so great. They're like the best thing ever. Do you still have your rewind clean view pet? Bro, that thing went to the curb. Once it caught on fire. Alright, I shouldn't really say it caught on fire. The motor blew. And I'm not even saying, like, just got loud and the fan went off balance. It literally just started burning. Even without a belt on it, the motor was burning. It really wasn't mine, though. I mean, it was mine. I got it out of the garbage. It, it was technically mine. But, it actually ended up going to my friend who gave it to his church. And his church ended up blowing out the motor. Man, I hope this thing runs quiet because this is a lot of effort. Alright. I'm not comfortable putting that screw back in it. It's too rusty. Do you know CA31? Like, do you go to his school? Or are you not in the stream anymore? subscribe to my channel? I think so. I'm pretty sure I do.
But do you go to his school? So I would seriously love to know. Unless he's being good old CA31 and just tells everyone he wants to feel bad for him. If you go to a school, that's one thing. I meant, do you go to school with him? Hell no. Yeah, then don't believe him. If you don't go to school with him, don't believe he tried to kill himself. I only say that and it's gonna make me look bad, but he's a whistleblower, a snowflake. He makes stuff up for attention, trust me. He is not a good person. A s eh. He would be the end. Oh, no, dude. Why'd you retract your comment? I wanted to finish that. I wanted to read that. Uh, he's, what I would say, created the drama club at high school. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to plug this thing in. someone called me and they're probably gonna call again so I gotta run this quick I'm just probably gonna turn it on and turn it off just to see how it would be decent Did you subscribe to my channel? Have you seen any of my videos? I think I subscribed to you. It seems quieter. I subscribed to your channel. Ugh. You're gonna make me check. Checking. Sounds normal. Yeah, it doesn't sound as loud as it did before. Go to channel. Load in. There. Subscribe now. I've seen your videos though. I watched your second power or pro, pro heat. They still subscribe to your channel. <laughs> wow. See, that's the funniest thing about him. He starts drama, but then wants to be friends at the end of it. I mean, with the stuff he started, there is no being friends at the end of it, yet he still subscribed to my channel. I'm not subbed to his. I'll admit that. I left that boy in the dust. And here's my attitude. You say he tried to end his life in the bathroom at high school or whatever he goes to? Here's my attitude. Oh no, his Bissell brush roll broke? Time to end his life, I guess. That's how it goes through his mind. He told me if you want to know what you've been doing, he's stalking your channel. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm not afraid. Honestly, all you'd have to do is go to his channel. Uh, kids in middle school. Dude, he's probably, he may actually be going through stuff. Or he may, oh my god, I broke my Bissell Symphony for the third time. I'm done. That's probably what he's done. That's probably his issue. He's in middle school. Dude, that boy should be in preschool. Did you dye your hair again? No, it's the same color. Honestly, though, I don't even know why that kid was conceived. He should go ask his mom. Have really bad luck? Nah, dude, he needs to go ask his mom why he wasn't swallowed, or ask his dad why he wasn't launched into a sock. I hate that kid. I take my hatred to that kid to another level. His dad lives in England? Yeah, I know. Which is where they have their second house, because he's rich beyond rich. I know his dad lives in England. I also know that they have a second house in England. I also know that, uh, Mommy buys him whatever he wants. And if Mommy doesn't do it, Daddy does it. Either way, someone's giving him cash. He has an ego. Yeah. Well, I know that that kid, his mom's name is Sharon. Yeah, I know. I know the kid. But I also know that he has a tin full of money under his bed. Last time I talked to him, he had about $400 into it, and he went out and bought a brand new shark. Hi. I'm live streaming. So, yeah. He's an awful person. He has a twin brother named Thomas. Yes, I know. I had William and Thomas's phone numbers. I played with Minecraft with those two kids. Yes, I know. I knew the kids. I played games with the kids. I played Minecraft and Roblox. You live in New Jersey? No, I don't live in New Jersey. But I have his phone number. I, I, you know what? I still have his brother's phone number, I think. Or I deleted it just to get the sore taste out of my mouth. Amy Fug, you still in here? I may or may not be talking mad shit about a kid who deserves it. The same kid who claims he tried to kill himself in his school's bathroom. Honestly, that kid's got no reason to want to kill himself. He can vomit money if he wanted to. That kid's got Apple Watches and GoPros. He wants, he has any vacuum he's ever wanted. He's got a Henry. He's got a pneumatic Henry. He's got a Dyson V10. He might have changed. No. He's ungrateful. Dude, he's got no reason to want to kill himself. He's got an iPhone 7 or a 10. He's got iPads. He's got computers. He's got Dyson DC-14 and a Bissell Symphony. He's got anything he's ever wanted. The dude got a Sanitaire for his birthday. I hate him. And no, I'll never give him a second chance since he messaged me out of the dude. I don't hate him. I don't hate me because I'm friends with him. I don't hate you. He may hate you because you're in my stream. Then again, though, he hates anybody. Whenever I join streams that he's in, he'll leave. He automatically leaves. And I don't care if he joins this live stream, honestly. Because he's asleep. 
Well, yeah, the little baby's got to get his beauty sleep. He's got to look pretty. I hate that kid. I take, I hate, I take hatred of that kid to another level. Now, guys, remember, you don't want to wake the little baby. Because, like, he'll, rock, he'll whine and he'll complain because he's a little bitch. Honestly, he's a toddler. That kid is a toddler. And here's the biggest thing. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Uh, uh, I'm live streaming. What? That's great. Move. Whoa. Awesome. Grandma and Grandpa. Awesome. They're very happy with the camera. Good. That's a really expensive Kenmore. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll message him on Facebook later. Wow, guys. You just witnessed a vacuum drop off. My grandma, my grandma can't vacuum with an upright. And she and Oh, my God. Dude, I don't think this has ever been used. <gasps> so this is what, this is their old vacuum. Good belt. But no, uh, she can't, oh, there's an orc in here. She claims she had all the tools for it. And extra bags. Uh, bags, which I already had. Crevice tool. floor nozzle this goes this goes to the Kenmore I gave them whatever this is this is a shot back tool this is a the I don't even know what this goes to it's got a huge cord That's awesome. I gave them, do you guys remember my old Kenmore? My Kenmore canister thing? Getting groceries. Yeah, well, do you guys know the, uh, oh, whoa, it's got its original floor nozzle. Do you guys? Uh, no, my old Kenmore canister. It was blue, real big. This is a Bissell tool. This is a Kenmore tool. This is a Shawback tool. And I don't even know what this is. It says something, mate. Lucky. Then here's this dirt devil. Oh my god. The orange I'm excited about. It's an XL. These are old, though. That don't fit. That fits. That's shockingly fits. And that don't fit. Honestly, though? Oh, my golly. The cord's in the wrong place and the hose is in the wrong place. Okay, that will go over there. Dude, the dust cup don't even got stuff around it. She said she never found anything good to use, like that dirt double could clean. But look at all the bags. Oh God, new bags and a new filter. Wow, I ended up, wow, I know, right? This live stream went from me ranting about someone I hate to an Auric XL and a Dirt Devil being brought into my room. Amy, I hope you're still in here. See, I can't get the uh, new filter in though.
Who? Uh, so one of my friends. Brand new bag. Or not. I can tell you right now, though, this thing's old. Have you seen all my vacuums? No, I haven't. I wonder if she'll realize she gave me the wrong tools. They're all on my YouTube channel. I'll have to take a look later, dude. <laughs> How awesome is that? Yo, there's literally dog hair falling out of the brush hole. They have more than this, though. They have two other vessels, but they're not theirs. Guess what? You went in something you'll never witness on CA31 stream. I don't want the uh, carrying strap though. This is the original bag door. There's no way this is the original bag door. She said she'd test it for me to make sure it worked. Wow. Did I get lucky today? So we're gonna bring up this dirt devil and see how bad it sounds. I'm not gonna take it apart, clean it. I'll probably leave it as dirty and disgusting as it is. I can tell you it's got a bad belt. But now nah, I'll leave it in the skirt, the dirty and disgusting self. Just to see how bad it runs. You guys ready? Rolls off balance. Oh, I still got like new plastic vacuum smell. Does it have any suction? Smells like fire. like fire. Cheap smell. No, it smells like fire now.
getting too much of a kick out of this vacuum. Oh god, my room smells like fire. Fire? Yeah. You know, like, when you get something that's really old and there's... It smells like burning hair. Then again, though, it's full of hair. Like, it's covered in hair. This auric make looks kind of promising, though. <laughs> Lol, I know, right? Here, let me go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, let's try this orc now. Oh my god, my room story to fire. Let's take this off. I hope they realize they gave me tools to the vacuum I gave them. Guys, should I try to fix that dirt devil or should I just smash it? I mean, it could probably be worth something if I fix it. Like... I could probably use it, but I don't know. <laughs> Fix it. Alright, Amy. It stinks of fire. So that doesn't give me high hopes for the second vacuum that my grandparents just gave me. Let's plug this thing. Move, kitten. Move, kitten. You're not going to be one in my room. So it sounded clogged for a second. Hey, this one actually works! That's shocking. Honestly though, I already have an orc upright, so this actually may not be that bad. Like having an auric canister, I do want to test something though, because I have. I want to see if this tool fit. Yay. Yeah, at least something worked. Oh, yeah. This old Bissell tool of mine. Dude, there's a kitten in my bed. Kirk, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kirk? Come on, let's go say hi to the camera. Say hi, Kirk. Ow! No calling. That's rude. What comment did I miss? Buster. Dude, I doubt Buster would have this. If Buster's who I think it is, who's the guy who only ever has, like, Dirt Devil, or Bissels. No! Don't call my desk. When you go on my desk, bad things happen. You know this kitten. You know the rules. You're not allowed on the desk. You can go back on the bed then. Fine. But we... Mo. Buster. Yeah, I know him. I know who he is. Alright. Let's do this. I had to carpet shampoo and crap earlier in here because I made a mess. So let's see. The auric works. Brayden D. I know Brayden.
I know Subway Kid. Can you stop questioning me about who I know? I know who I know. I have an orc now. Honestly, this ain't my first orc. But it is my first orc with this kind of body style. I've had a white one like this too. But it was different. So I guess we can just clean up my room. Put, put this back where it belongs, which is down there. Alright guys. Bama boys, yo, quit it! I know who they are. This is something mate. Rain mate? It, tell me if someone can tell me what this says. I have no clue. This aura tool seems pretty good though. Seems like it would work pretty good on carpet. Honestly though, the dirt devil smells of fire really bad. But I'll have my dad take a look at it before I start tearing it apart. This sounds decent though. My grandma always used this uh, around her shoulder so she should, so she could carry it. I guess I'll try that. See how stupid I look carrying it. Honestly though, was that cool for you guys, seeing this, like seeing me get a new vacuum? Yes. If you guys didn't know, that was actually my dad who came in and said they loved their Kenmore. Which I'm glad she liked her Ken more because I was just going to throw it away. I didn't have a need for it. That Kenmore was just taking up space in my house. I figured out how to put the thing on. I got the lid on. I feel like you got quieter. Anywho. So this was the latest find, I guess. Let's see if this will fit. I have a good brush roll. On board. Well, that's hurtful. 
But hi, board. Nice to meet you. I'm a, uh, I'm wizard. <laughs> That's right. I just did that. If you guys didn't know, that's an original Phantom tool I'm using. Well, let's try this. Oh, you know what? I know a tool that would work great. Let's go into my Kirby Heritage box. I know for a fact this tool will work great if it fits. And it fits. I'm using and I probably shouldn't just because it's actually worth something etc 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 nobody cares nobody cares nobody cares worth something 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 blah 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 so let's use the phantom tool that's worth even more So me and the kitten are gonna say goodbye. That's right. I got a kitten who ain't afraid of no vacuums. That's right. That's right. Oh, 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 cut, cut. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Ow, ow. Say goodbye. All right, peace, y'all.